What's chimin everybody? It's your boy Chim back bringing guys some more suspect test ladder for Meta Metagross. So this is a team, uh, very very fun team to use. And if this video does reach 400 likes, I will be uh, posting it in the description below as soon as it does reach 400 likes. A very very fun team, and of course got the nicknames of my subscribers. So first game against Chicken Alt. So uh, he's got he's got a pretty nice team himself. Could be Charizard Y probably. So here, uh, it's kind of miserable. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna lead out. Probably, you probably don't lead out Charizard. So this is still pretty miserable. This is a really bad matchup because I can't do anything to pile on with my Raikou, even if I'm Specs. Uh, his own Raikou is gonna. The only way I can see myself winning is with Calm Mind. Slow Bro. So I'm gonna lead out with Ferrothorn. As he leads out with Chestnut. That's pretty good. That's not bad. Uh, it is like kind of bad because he has a spinner and I don't. So <laughs> that's kind of miserable in that aspect, but not too bad. And the fact that his guy is gonna be able to trap me. Without doing, being able, me being able to do too much. But with spike support, I should be able to beat his pad on a little bit easier. Uh, the thing is, he's not going to be able to lead seed me, which is pretty good. And I don't really have <laughs> leftovers, so that's kind of miserable as well. So I got up two layers of spike, not bad. And here, I guess I'm going to switch out into slow bro, set set up some calm mines, potentially get this thing burned. Who's that to star me? Okay, that's good, that's good. Because with a couple Calm Minds, I should be able to take any hit from any one of his Pokemon. So that's not bad at all. If I can get rid of this thing as well, that would be great. Uh, he has nothing physical on his team that can one-shot me either, so that's great. If I can get rid of his Bisharp with his Slowbro, that would be absolutely amazing. Because uh, then I actually have a switch in for his Charizard. A safe switch in. So uh, yeah, this slow bro, like I said, is definitely going to be able to threaten his team. So that's great. That's great for me. The thing is, if he does like burn me, okay. So he goes out to chestnut. I guess he's going to want to go for the uh, the lead seed. Psyshock? Uh, let me run the calc, see how much Psyshock is going to do. So, Psyshock does around 57 minimum. So, it's not going to be a 2 hit KO. Well, it can be a 2 hit KO if I get a little higher roll. But I'm just going to go for Scald here. Because I'm really not too worried about this Chestnut. If I can get the burn on this, that'll be pretty good. As he actually has Wood Hammer as well. So, that's interesting. If I can get the burn here, that would be amazing. But, yep. No burn. Uh... If I went for Psy Shock, that would not have killed, but i um, actually just going to run this cap. So Woodhammer does 47 to 56, so that's a, that's a roll. So I'm going to go out into my Pinsir here. He only has one, like he has a couple switches for Pinsir, actually, so that's kind of bad. But here I'm just going to go for the... For the return, I guess. I doubt he goes for the... He actually doesn't have that. Because he has Spikes, Leech, Seed, One Hammer, Drain, Punch, or whatever. So he's going to be forced to switch out here. He said they're going to go out to a Powdown. Or Raikou. So he does go out to Raikou here. As I get off some good damage on it. Uh, he's at 53% now. And uh, kind of forced to go out to my own Raikou here. Which sucks because uh, he has Spike Support. So I definitely have to run a quick attack calc on the Raikou. Okay, so that's great. Should 
Shadow Ball is not going to be a two-hit kill <laughs> at all, and it's a Paladon, though. Yeah. So I'm really surprised that Woodhammer did so much damage to my Slowbro. 47? That's a lot of damage. Just gonna go for Scald here. Yeah, this matchup is really, really miserable. He goes out to Bisharp? That's such a bad play. That was such a bad play. I have to switch here though. Like if he predicts that and goes for pursuit, like either way, I can't. This is a win con. I don't think Sucker's able to kill me, and uh, I'm going to be able to get off some nice damage. I think he's a pat on his whirlwind. I can't really tell though. So getting out damage on this, he actually has Stone Edge, so Raikou puts in uh quite some work now shadow ball I can't touch this guy right protects us from balls and yeah gyro ball yeah so I can't touch that So this Bisharp isn't a uh, life orb, so let me run that calc too. Bisharp actually does 58 to 69 to my slow bro, so this is actually pretty good for me. And I know that his Raikou is probably not specs. I mean, I couldn't tell from the damage, but I'm, pr I'm going to be pretty certain that it isn't. So I know that he can't t his Hepaton cannot touch me. Or it can't go for Whirlwind, so I think Calm Mind here is the best play because he's not switching out to Bisharp, he's not switching out to Chestnut. His only place to switch out to Raikou. And Slowbro with plus one against uh, Saltfest Raikou. Thunderbolt is 55, so I'm gonna go for Calm Mind here. As it goes out into chestnut. Huh. I don't know why you would go out to chestnut here. Um. A burned wood hammer does 23. So if he gets 56 and 28, that's 74. That's not enough, so if I can burn him here, that would be great. Of course, big if. He goes for lead seed. Nice burn. So, at this point, I can go for another Calm Mind. Uh, yeah, that does zero. And I'll be able to get another kill here and still have this slow bro for later because I can come in on Starmie and about on goes out to Raikou here so let's run the calc again Raikou there's a plus two slow bro Thunderbolt this and then Gold and Psy Shock. Psy Shock is capable of knocking this out here. 
Let me slack off though. Actually. Yeah. He's doing more damage to me though, so. I have to go for Psy Shock here. Actually, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 68 to 80, and he's at 83. I should have went for Psy Shock last turn. Oh well. So here I'm going to switch out into Lottie. Ah, <sighs> really sucks. No Zard switches anymore. He's not going to Bisharp. That would be just stupid. Ah, he might. He actually might just go to Bisharp though. I know it has pursuit because there's no reason you would you wouldn't run pursuit on a Bisharp like this. So I guess he can go to Starmie. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, at this point I can go out into my own Raikou here. And, uh, go for HP Ice. Uh, yeah, that's not a bad play. I thought that maybe I could go for a Shadow Ball and Roost, but I don't know if that would have been possible. So he's going to go out to Bisharp here. And this actually outspeeds his Charizard and knocks it out. Uh, this will probably outspeed his Raikou and knock it out. So... Uh, Landers actually can't do anything at this point, so I'm going to sack it. And if he goes for Sucker Punch, that'll be good. But he's definitely going to go for Knock Off. Ooh, he actually goes for Sucker Punch. I think he choked. I actually choked by going out to this too because this knockoff would have killed my slow bro. I should have sacked Lottie. This is actually really, really bad. I wonder if U-turn kills. He goes out to a pout on though. Oh man, that was such a bad play on my part. Like he should have, he should he made a misplay, but I made a worse misplay. But his his misplay cost him the game, almost. It depends. At this point, I think I kind of want to stay in. I do kind of want to U-turn out into this. <sighs> I want to U-turn out into slow bro and get some regen, but. I think knockoff at that point still knocks me out. So I'm just going to stay in and go for an earthquake. Actually getting this thing knocked out means that I just go to Raikou and win. Uh, I kind of still need this for Bisharp though. I think I have to sack Lottie here. Ooh. I think Volt Switch is the best play, but I don't. Yeah, it's gonna kill him, Specs. Yeah, Volt Switch is my best play because I can.
put myself out of range of Bisharp's knockoff to knock me out. I could also double into Slowbro, but I don't think it's worth it because he might go out to his Raikou over his Starmie. So yeah, this Raikou is putting in some work, but I don't know. The way that he's going to win this game is with Bisharp though, because Bisharp stops my Raikou from beating him. Because I'm pretty sure his Raikou's okay. Ooh. That sucks. I thought this would for sure knock it out. Alright, let's think here. I have to force a Starmie in, but I don't think that's going to happen. He's going to have to sack it. So if I go out to this, then Fire Blast is going to be able to knock me out, and I don't have anything for Bisharp. But... I have to go out to this. Because Solar Beam damage with Hidden Power Ice knocks me out 100%. But if I go out to this and sack it, I can't be Starmie. I can't be Starmie with this. Or this. I think it's a speed tie. Under 15, yeah. They're starting to get some burn. Like, I think I have to sack my Lando. I'm really surprised he stayed in. Kinda have to go for Thunderbolt here now, I guess. Alright, so if he goes for knockoff and he doesn't kill me, then he can't knock me out in any way. So I'm going to slack off. <laughs> of course. I'm pretty sure that doesn't kill. Oh. Wait. Wait, was I running Calx with Mega Slowbro the entire time? Yeah, that's there's no way that kills, even if there's black glasses. That sucks. Oh well. Good game, dude. That was a pretty good game. Not bad. Sucks it had to end like that. But, you know. Happens. Maybe I can live this. <laughs> LOL. Really, really bad matchup, but some uh, misplays from his part. Allowed me to come back into it. So, what is this team? You can't just have Chansey with like Thunders on the same squad. That doesn't. That just doesn't make sense. Alright. So, Call My Slowbro is still another win con. But. Yeah, actually, I'm just going to lead out Slowbro. Because if he leads out with Conk, Feral Thorn, Low Punny, I got a good matchup. I don't think any Conk runs Stone Edge.
All right, so let's get this started. Big base. Let's get this started. Big base. Shout out to Big Base. I uh, also want to give a huge shout out to Anti Kratos Mana. I think he's one of the best Oris OU players, and I think he's the uh, favorite to win OST. I, I don't even know if he signed up, but I think I think he signed up, and I like I thought that CTC was gonna win, but he uh, he lost to Activity <laughs> round one. His opponent, uh, <laughs> he's so mad. His opponent, uh, they agreed to play at 6 o'clock Eastern. His opponent came at 6 o'clock Eastern for like 5 minutes. He left after like CTC didn't show up. CTC was there at like 6.08. And then he was waiting for his opponent to hop on. Like his opponent is a big lefties fan and lefties hate CTC or something. I don't know. Like he's buddies with lefties and CTC hates lefties because he's lucky. Uh, for whatever, I don't know why CTC just hates lucky players. Like, they can control it, buddy. But, yeah, essentially, because CTC didn't really contact him that much, he just said, let's play on the last weekend at uh, whatever time. And then Cor his opponent, Corby, actually showed up then, but CTC didn't. So, uh, yeah, CTC was on for like three hours trying to get him back online, but uh, Corby made the, made the smart play and decided to hide. I would hide too if I was up against the base lord. JK. <sighs> Going up against the base lord in tournament setting is a rare opportunity. And you just, you should uh, definitely savor it. Come on, guy. Alright, let's just get another battle. Alright, Altaria Magnezone. Standard dot. Standard dot squad. Uh, too bad I have uh, Shed Shell on my Ferrothorn, so I'm not worried about that at all. But the thing is, he's got himself a Bisharp. This team is so weak to Bisharp. Ah, nice. He's out this. Let me calc that damage real quick. So, Voltswitch is 30 to 36 on no investment, so. Just gonna go out to my Landers here. And can you continue the uh, the U turn shenanigans? He has no ground resist. I mean, gr uh, <laughs> he has no ground Pokemon. Volt Switch immunity, so that's good. So getting this Keldeo inside is pretty good, I guess. Uh, I believe it's in quick attack range. Oh, leftovers. Yeah, he's just gonna forfeit. This guy. Okay. This sucks. I haven't gotten. I have gotten one real battle, and it's been what? 23 minutes disgusting absolutely disgusting all right so the powder on extra drill with Gardevoir no trapper though so that's good for me um seems a bit vulnerable to pincer so let me just go out to it How my Slowbro actually puts in work too. But uh, Gardevoir is definitely a huge threat. How my Slowbro is so good. Oh my gosh. Like you saw that he had a Bisharp, Raikou, and a uh, Solar Beaming Charizard. And Call my Slowbro still put in so much work. And a Chestnut with Woodhammer. It put in so much work. I guess because he didn't have Life War Bisharp, uh, it helped me out a little bit more. So he's going to lead out with this. So I'm just going to go for the short stance. His team's weak to this, but 
If I get off some damage on this, it'll allow my Raikou to put in a lot more work. And if he only has Whirlwind, which I don't know if he does, because his team is kind of vulnerable. Ah, oh, miss out, as he does have the Stone Edge. Miss out on the kill, unfortunate, but... U-turn's just going to be able to knock it out. Okay, yeah, this guy forfeited. Do I want a U-turn? I think I want to just Earthquake. Because there's no way he's switching in. Lottie. Is he? He, he might be one of those guys that switches in Lottie. And uh, judging from his team, it's probably too fire body, which is really bad for me. So, I really want to just stay in, but I, w I have to go for U-turn. Just in case he actually gels does bring in Lottie, it's too big of a threat for me. Uh, because he does... If he just sacks this here, then uh, it doesn't really matter. Like the thing is, like if he thinks I'm scarfed here, which oh oh if I if I U-turn here, he might think I'm scarfed. So that's good information. That's a good bluff too. Uh, yeah yeah he does switch out. He goes out to Keldeo. That's good. That's good. Like, the thing is, if I go out into Lottie, he's going to get a free switch into Garvoir, which puts in a lot of work. And my, my Raikou specs, so if I do go for the electric move, I can't I can't go for the electric move until the pattern has gone. So let's think here. I go out to Slowbro, but I don't really know what type of Keldeo this is, so if it is like specs HP electric, uh, I'll be in some trouble. So I kind of want to straight up just go out into this and Psy Shock. If he goes out to Ferrothorn, I kind of want to just defog. Even though Spikes would be a little bit more annoying than Stealth Rock. Oh, I went for Psy Shock. Oh yeah, of course I went for Psy Shock. Okay, so this Psy Shock might be a two hit kill. Uh, it outspeeds extra outside of sand, so I'm gonna save this. And if his Lottie's HP fire, I'll be able to outspeed it. So I, I wanna, I wanna just go out to Ferrothorn here. I'm going for spikes here because he's going to be forced to defog so it's essentially me going for defog to save his apowdon and if he wants to go directly out into apowdon that's fine by me as well because that's going to enable me okay If you did want to go out to a pad on that's going to enable my slower to get a free switch, calm mind up, and put in some work. Because he has Stone Edge over Whirlwind. What a play. What a play. What was he thinking? Ah, uh, never mind, never mind. Cause, cause Specs Raikou is rare, so even if I went for Shadow Ball, like it wouldn't have been able to two would kill this thing, and he would be able to just kill me back. So that was that wasn't a bad play. But the thing is, I still have a Landers, so he would be forced like he still ha be forced to make a play. And he didn't see leftover from my Lando, 
So at this point, uh, I do have Ferrothorn. I mean, he does have Ferrothorn, but... Can I get a drop? No drop. I don't really care about damage on this. Like, I guess if he knocks off of the specs, that'll be bad. Ouch, nice dodge. If I could get a drop here, that would be great. Raikou sweep. Uh, yeah, Raikou does look like it's capable of just knocking out the rest of his team. Nice drop! There we go! <gasps> ah, there it is. Nice dodge. Um, even if he got off the lead seed, I think the next Shadow Ball would have killed, but I did get lucky there, of course. So, Shadow Ball. I wasn't able to, yeah, I wasn't able to get off a spike, so the Ferrothorn's going to be able to live. So here, what can I do, what can I do? Landers is essentially useless. Yeah, that's, that's leftovers too, so there's only four turns of sand he can abuse. I'm going to slow bro here, just so that I don't get uh, Iron Head hacked. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but... I don't want my Slowbro taking an Earthquake for no reason. So with this thing gone, I can just spam attacks. Nice, nice. It's not that good, but this earthquake should do a good chunk. Oh. I don't think he's in the position to go for lead seed again. Yeah, Slowbro with the Calm Mind up does win, I think. Ah, uh, he does lead seed, though. I think I should have stayed in with Sloper, I guess. Yeah, his Jarball is not going to be able to do too much damage, but I am slowly getting his Ferrothorn back up to full. So here, um, I think he'll switch out into Gardevoir. Uh, but if I predict that, then I should go out to Psyshock or whatever. I'm going to call him on here. Because he's at minus one attack. He can't kill me with anything please don't be trick please don't be trick I'm gonna slack off here prevent a crit from killing me well okay so I guess he has power whip that's the only explanation So I do need a burn here. 
Okay, just lead seed. Interesting. So if he does go to Gardevoir, I think I am kind of forced to go for the side shock. It does have a chance to kill though, so that's good to know. Alright. I think if I get the burn on this, I do seal the game. So that's what I'm going to go for. The odds are in my favor though. Okay, good pl oh, what? Alright, so this is definitely a modest Gardevoir. So, I can't stay in here. Because uh, Mata's Gardevoir does like 80, I think it does 81 min, or 81 max, so I can't risk that. So I gotta repeatedly go for Shadow Balls. Yeah, at the end of the day, the burn is the way to go. The burn is the way that I'm winning this game. He can no longer bring in his Gardevoir in on my Slowbro. And if he goes to Lottie, then I set up on it. And if he goes to Keldia, I set up on it. So that's good. Dang, he really got max damage the last time he went for that? I think he switches here. Oh, he stays in. Wait, does he... Spikes, lead seed... Spikes, lead seed, power whip. Hmm. Does he have protect? I don't think he has protect. So that play with Lando, I should have, yeah, bad play on my part. So I really do need this burn on this Vero Thorn soon. Other, uh, yeah, I think I lose. Ah. Wait. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Rekum Meter's not gonna be able to kill me. I think he had to go to Gardevoir there. Yeah. This is a 22 last time. Oh, yes, Calm Mind too. Yeah, that's gonna be game. Modest Calm Mind? 
That was a really bad play. Him switching directly out to Gardevoir. Uh, because I could have got a burn. I don't know why he didn't just sack extra drill. <sighs> but also made... I don't know if that was a misplay though. Because if, if he had protect and went for it, I would have just won the game right then and there. Alright, so that's going to be it for the show on live today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.